Okay, so here we're told, or asked, excuse me, which of the following is a correct interpretation of the statement, men outnumber women by a ratio of 9 to 5? So A, it says there are four more men than women. B, the number of men was 1.8 times the number of women. C, the number of men divided by the number of women was equal to the quotient of 5 divided by 9. And D, in the stadium, 5 out of 9 fans right, were women. Okay, so let's just make a picture of this because that'll help us evaluate A, B, C, and D. It says men outnumbered women by a ratio of 9 to 5. So what does that mean? Well, the order, 9 to 5, right? And the way we describe this, it says men outnumbered women. That tells us that men refers to this number 9, and women, right, refers to the number 5. So this ratio, usually written like this right here, means that if you have a group, right, within that group, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, let me write like this, men, there are 9 men, 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine men, and of course, for that amount of nine men, there are one, two, three, four, five women. Look at W for woman. One, two, three, four, five. So really, this is saying out of a group of how many? Well, a group of fourteen, right? So we had nine plus five, and that's fourteen. So within that group of 14, five of them were women. Five fourteenths equal the women. And nine fourteenths equal and represent the number of men. So it says here there were four more men than women. Well, that, you know, right away, that's true, right? That is true. In this group right here, there are four more men than women. But, right, we don't know. We don't know how many men and women there are in the group. There could be, right, we could double this ratio and write 18 to 10. So in that case, this is the same ratio, right, but in a larger group. In other words, we took two groups of this, you can always picture it, right? But here there are eight more men than women. And in fact, as you scale this up larger and larger, this statement A becomes less and less true. So this is only true when there are exactly 14 people in the room. This is only true when there are 14 people. So if there are more than 14 people, then this is an incorrect statement. So maybe that's not the best choice. Uh, we'll come back to it if, if we find nothing else better. B says the number of men was 1.8 times the number of women. This might be a more accurate statement because 5, right, times 1.8, you can work this out, that will end up equaling what? Well, that equals 9. Maybe we can check in on our calculator here. If we're not feeling comfortable with that, that notion. But that whole statement saying 1.8 times the number of women, that literally means multiply the number of women times 1.8, and you should get the number of men. So 5 times 1.8 is 9. But this is also true, and this is the important part, with different numbers of people. This is because this is multiplying the relationship with the groups. That's what proportional relationships are all about. If I take 10, right, the larger group here, multiply that by 1.8, I do get 18. So this seems to work with any number of people. Let's look at the other um, choices before we make a decision. C says the number of men divided by the number of women was equal to the quotient of 5 and 9. Well, that is 5 is the number of women, right, in each group, and 9 is the number of men. So the quotient of 5 and, and 9, which is 0.5 repeating, that, that's equal to right, the number of men divided by the number, excuse me, that's, uh, apologies, 5 over 9 is equal to the number of women over the number of men, right? Women divided by men. But men divided by the women would be 9 divided by 5, the reciprocal of that, right? So that would equal 1.8. And that's what we found here, actually. It's the same expression. But, of course, in C, they, they, they flip this, right? They put the numbers backwards. So C is definitely out. D says, in the stadium, five out of nine fans were women. That would be true, except, right, it's not out of nine. It's five to nine. 
So it's 5 out of 14. So D is out. So I feel like B is our best choice here because A is only true in one case. So for this question, I would definitely pick B. Thanks.